Hi, this is Alex with Four and Half. Uh, we do internet marketing for property management companies, and today I'm going to talk about buying a property management company versus advertising on Google. So we're going to cover uh, uh, there's two major ways to grow your business and to see which one is better and which one makes more sense, or perhaps both of them do. Let's take a look at details. All right. So first number number one priority here is for us to identify. Um, your lifetime customer value. As a property management company, you're a subscription-based business, just like a software company, just like even four and a half, we're a subscription-based business. So in other words, you charge people on a monthly basis to, for a service you provide, right? So the lifetime customer value becomes an important factor because this is what you get out of each new customer you sign up. So I have a chart here just to help explain the, what it is that I mean. So lifetime customer value, you start, you know, when you sign an agreement for the house, average house, let's call it uh, $99 a month or $100 a month management fees, you know, you start with a lease up fee. And as the time progresses, you see if you average, if you keep your client for three years on average, your lifetime customer value is $4,200. So that's what you get in revenue every time you sign a new house, a single house under management, right? So now let's take a look at buying a property management portfolio. Not specifically talking about buying a company in itself, but buying a portfolio of 50 units and how the cost breaks down. So, you know, those numbers kind of vary across the United States, but in general, when you're buying a property management company, you're looking to pay about eight to 12 X, uh, meaning monthly fee, right? So in our example here, if you're buying a 50 unit portfolio from your local real estate company, from your local realtor, you're looking to pay about 10 times the monthly, um, the monthly fee, which is $1,000. So your overall bottom line price, it will cost you $50,000 to purchase 50 unit portfolio from a, from a local realtor. Okay, numbers make sense. All right, so now let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of buying a portfolio. Number one, of course, you get a momentum, right? You have 50 units, you know, referrals will come in from those, so that's a good thing. Sometimes if their contracts are assignable, you know, uh, the process is quite easy and you also get some kind of a guarantee. Typically, you know, uh, uh, they will issue a six month guarantee that the accounts will transfer over and you don't have to pay for those that don't. Um, you can finance this purchase, you know, owner-based financing, and, um, you can um, kind of establish a quick portfolio and it is something again that will help you reduce sales expenses because you just haven't had any uh, uh, selling to do to get those new business. Now the disadvantages is we have to talk about you have to take time as an executive right to oversee the whole purchase. So that's your time being spent uh, uh, overseeing legal fees are involved but also when you talk about eroded customer lifetime value. So in other words, when you buy in a portfolio, you know, each client, each home can be at any point of this particular line. So some stay for 20 years and some stay for two months. But, you know, somehow they're going to be along this line somewhere. So you're going to you have a little bit of erosion of lifetime customer value when you're purchasing. It. So those are the disadvantages. Now let's talk about Google AdWords. Okay, so how does new business acquisition work with Google AdWords? Well, so for the same 50 units, Okay, considering what we've seen, and if you have a properly run Google AdWords campaign, it will cost you anywhere from 100 to you know, $500 per client, per home managed, not per lead, per home managed. Advertise on Google, these are the numbers you see. So up to 400 per client acquired as an average, okay? So to, to advertise on Google and add 50 units to your portfolio will cost you $20,000. Right away, you see there's a $30,000 savings between getting 50 units from a portfolio acquisition versus Google AdWords. Now let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of the AdWords, okay? First of all, the advantage is the cost. Obviously it costs you less than half, right? To acquire the same 50 units. It's also a predictable lead flow. You spend you know, $1,000 a month, you get so many leads, you close so many houses. It's fairly mathematical. Now, the disadvantage here would be, you know, you do need a professional oversight. You cannot expect to have a successful Google AdWords campaign that you run by yourself as, as a property manager. It, there's a lot goes into it and 
in fact, you know, most of t searches out there are tenant searches. If you want to focus your campaign on landlord searches and want to see the return for your investment, you need to have it professionally managed. Now, the other thing is, um, there's only so many homes out there that need management on a given month. So buying a portfolio gives you that kind of a quick boost in your unit count and your profitability in your income and revenue, where you know Google AdWords is more of a uh, uh, it's kind of timed release, right? Measured approach to growing your business. So the bottom line, you know, both are you know viable ways to grow your business. When you buy a company, it's more expensive. It there's a little bit more risk but you do get that momentum in a large portfolio, you know, uh, a sh change uh, in, in, a proper, in the right direction. With Google AdWords, you sign customers as you go, but they're brand new customers. They still have that full lifetime value um, of revenue to, for, you to be, for you to collect. So both of them are viable sources. Um, I, I just thought this was a helpful information. So when you're making a decision, whether you want to advertise with Google or when you want to buy a property management company or portfolio, hopefully these numbers will uh, make sense for you and help you out. Until next week, this is Alex Pornhouse.